concerns. I would use that in order to find out what are the assets. How can I build on that? That was the most important lesson for me. That was the, most, that was the biggest lesson that I could start out my school year with, is finding out about these kids. Validate and affirm them, regardless of who they already came from. When you know your kids, you can even choose things to validate and affirm. What kind of music do you like? Where do you like? What kind of movies do you like? What kind of food do you like? Where do you like to go to, to for entertainment? You can validate and affirm them. The academic piece it requires constant assessment. You're continually assessing where they are. Yes. So one thing I want to say is that in terms of like identifying assets, I think that also realize that you sometimes identify assets in the most, um, in places and in ways that you wouldn't have assumed to. You know, sometimes I'll even, you know, I look at how like, you know, students may be uh, being disruptive at times and they may be in class clowning each other. But that's an opportunity to identify assets because you can almost, sometimes you can tell like just with, like with comedians, like the quality of their jokes and how cerebral the jokes are, it, it can show like how, um, how thoughtful they are, how insightful they are. Um, so then if I say, okay, well now, you know, don't, don't play games, man. Like you're not, doing, you're not doing well in this class or with this topic because you're not applying yourself because I know you're intelligent. So don't try to act like you're not intelligent because you are, I, I've seen you, you know, in something that you're comfortable doing in a comfortable space, you know, how, you, how you're able to apply yourself. Um, so yeah, so that, that, that I would say too, like just finding finding those assets in um, in, in places that you uh, you know would, wouldn't have assumed that you would. And in finding those assets, a culturally responsive educator is very reflective. That reflective process is extremely important, and that's another aspect of you constantly learning about your students. And again, not making those assumptions, but that reflective process, again, it's purposeful. You have to sit down, and you have to take notes, and you have to reflect on who your students are, and how that lesson worked, and what didn't work, and, and go through that whole process. 